Hi everyone and welcome to 2025. The new year is a time for change. New goals, new promises and things like that. What we didn't expect though was an almost completely redesigned Bitwarden web add-in that has removed some of Bitwarden's best features. Well, it seems that the rest of the world wasn't expecting it either, nor did they appreciate it. And they certainly let the developers of Bitwarden know their opinion. The good news is, is that Bitwarden's developers have introduced a way to restore the functions and features we all love. Let's jump on my PC and I'll show you what to do. Hey everyone, welcome to my PC. Let me show you how to revert the appearance changes that Bitwarden has made with their latest update. Now I'm just using tvnz.co.nz as an example website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the Bitwarden icon in my toolbar. Now, in the past, if you clicked anywhere in the white box here, you'll be able to fill in the email address, username and password. Now, if you try and do this, it just simply opens up this details panel, which is not what we want. You could click on this very small fill button, but we liked it the way it was before. So let me show you how to change it back. What you want to do is go to settings down the bottom right, click on autofill, and then tick this box here, click items to autofill on vault view. Now that this is applied, if we click anywhere in this white box, the email address and password are automatically filled in just like before. Now, another thing you may have noticed as well is that in the past, there were little icons here to indicate you could copy, for example, the email address, you could copy the password, and if you had multi-factor authentication or a one-time password linked to a login, you could click on that icon as well. Let's change that back to how it was. Go to settings in the bottom right, click on appearance, and then tick show quick copy actions on vault. Now, if we go back to the vault, you'll see that those previous icons that were missing have now been restored. And that's how to revert the changes in Bitwarden. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video helped you, please give us a like, subscribe, and comment if you wish. Thanks for watching.